Leaking RV roof? Eternal bonded. Hey Romers, it's Jamie back at you here again. Uh, what we got going today is we're on top of Rosie. About every six months, I like to get up on the roof, check all the seams in the die-core to make sure everything's still intact. Uh, sometimes your die-core will get cracks in it or the tape uh, where the seams are. We have an aluminum roof and it'll, it'll start pulling up. And what I've noticed is we have that situation happening right here where the tape is starting to pull away. So, what we're going to do today is we're going to go and we're going to clean this all up and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a turno bond so I'm going to cut this I'm going to clean it cut it and then I'm going to basically these are four inch rolls so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do half here and half there so I have a nice good uh, coverage on both sides so that we don't have any leakage because that's the worst thing in the world is to get a leak in your motorhome or your RV whatever it may be so that's what the plan is today. Um, so I'm going to be inspecting the whole thing and then I'm going to uh, fix whatever cracks I have and then also the tape here and eternal bond it. Um, I'm probably going to eternal bond a lot of what is die core like here. I know that there's tape here and all that but again it's fraying up on the edges a little bit and I don't want any leaks. Even that's going into the shower it can still run into the roof and we don't want that. So, Alright so let's get started on that. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to be cleaning uh, where I'm going to be putting the new Eternal Bond. So I'm just going to clean that up uh, with these, uh, I have these shop towels instead of using regular paper towels. These are a little bit more uh, heavy duty. Um, I was going to use acetone but I don't think I'm really going to need that because it's not really that bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some glass cleaner. I'm just going to clean that up really well. Um, and then uh, once I get that all cleaned up, I'm going to put the Eternal Bond down. And I'm just going to do that in each section as I'm going through where it's pulled up like this. I'm going to trim that. So I'm going to get rid of that and then clean that up as well. And then also do the same process um, like cleaning it with this and the, the glass cleaner. And then that I may have to use acetone because I got old adhesive on here. So um, I'll use acetone to be able to clean that up because we want to make sure that we get a good bond when we put the eternal bond down on there. The side that's going to be up facing the sun or it's not going to be sticking to the roof has this white uh, white outer, outer layer and then this gray part is the part that actually sticks to the roof. If you've ever been in a parking lot and you step on gum <laughs> and you try to get it off, good luck with that. Um, this has a clear backing uh, so it can wrap within itself but once you pull that off uh, you want to make sure when you place this, you place it exactly where you want it to be because it's not forgiving. It's going to be really hard to get that back up. So you want to make sure that you uh, have it where you want it. And then uh, what you want to do is you want to pull a little bit back, stick that down, and then gradually pull this clear out from under it as you're laying it down. As you can see what I'm doing is I'm kind of laying it out and then pulling the under backing the clear part off as I'm pushing it down. You want to try and get as least amount of bubbles and creases as possible. Um, but the good thing is because it's warm today that kind of helps us out. It's going to make it so it adheres really nicely. The other thing that I purchased is a a roller um, and that helps because it's this is pressure activated so I can take the roller and kind of roll over it once I get it all laid out 
And this is the roller. I got this on my, off of Amazon. We'll just roll that out. That way you know it's gonna stick down there really good. And one thing, if you have, like me, I have an older RV and there is no warranty on the roof any longer. Um, if you have a newer RV, um, you probably want to want to wait till the warranty is up on your motorhome before you did something like this or your RV, uh, your trailer, um, because this could very well void the warranty if you went and did that. So just wanted to give you that heads up. You know, I don't want you to take a brand new motorhome and say I'm going to eternal bond the entire roof and then have your warranty voided out. So. But uh, being that my coach is 20 years old, there is no warranty, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, what I'm going to do is, where it ends here, I'm going to take some lap sealant and cover that up so that's uh, covered up nice and Because this all needs to be covered with lap sealant because there's some cracking here, so I need to clean that up. That's kind of the process of how we're going to do this. So I got the entire roof all the way going back and the two ends that I need to do. And then a couple of, over by the shower, I'm going to redo that because it looks like that tape's starting to fray and pull back as well. Um, around my vents and everything looks pretty good. All the lap sealant's in really good shape. And I also have the vent covers that screw on top. So I think I'm okay there. One thing you want to be mindful of as you're doing this you can get wound up in what it is that you're doing like I'm laying this out right now and paying attention to what I'm doing but I'm also right here on the edge where I could fall off really easily so you really want to pay attention and keep keep in mind where you're at on the roof so you don't have a mishap where you fall off the roof because it's one thing to protect your roof and make sure you don't have any leaks but if you fall off the roof and you get hurt and you can never use your motorhome again that kind of defeats the purpose when you get the eternal bond um, these edges are sticky as well. They'll stick to whatever. Um, so when they ship it to you, they have these little plastic, they're not plastic, it's like um, paper that it, it doesn't really stick to. Uh, so I just keep that near me so that when I go to sit it down on the roof, um, I'm not worrying about it sticking when I don't want it to. This is about midstream of the coach. And then I still have this here to do, this long run, this long run, this short run in the back here, and then that long run in the back. And then if I have enough, like I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna redo this shower around here because I uh, don't want any leaks. Um, everything else looks really good. Like I said, on the edges, what I'm gonna do, um, like over here on the edge, down here, um, I'm going to put lap sealant um, and in the corners and stuff on the edges I'm going to put lap sealant just for that extra protection. Maybe a little overkill but uh, I'd rather have some overkill than a leaky roof uh, because the leaky roof is going to cost you a lot more money. Okay roamers, uh, I got the eternal bond all completed. Um, I'm going to hold off on doing the uh, lap sealant because it's probably around close to 100 degrees, 9,500 degrees today. And I'm hot and it's, uh, it's wearing me out. But I'm just gonna show you how much I got done. So I got the seam on the front cap and then the seam going down the center here. Got that all done. Um, got the uh, seams around the uh, skylight and the shower. And then the rest of the center is completed. And then uh, the back, I got the back all sealed up. One thing I would suggest though is wearing knee pads. Uh, I was on my knees uh, on the roof a lot and these really helped out. Uh, they saved my knees from not one, one being hot but the other is uh, sitting on your knees for a long period of time, it, it, it kind of hurts so. Giving us the finger. Any and all obscene gestures that you see while making this video are per purely coincidental and have no other meaning, right?
don't just arbitrarily, uh, as I'm working, flip people off. So that's not what the intention is. Um, what I'm doing today, uh, this morning, because it's going to get hot again today. It's supposed to be 100 degrees again today, so I don't want to be up on that roof again uh, when it gets that hot. Um, <clears throat> I'm just finishing up with the... I'm taking the lap sealant and sealing all the edges of the uh, Eterna Bond and, and also the areas that were cracked that I showed you when I was putting the Eterna Bond on uh, where the die core was cracking. I'm going to be cleaning that up today and then applying new lap sealant on there so we, everything's all sealed up nicely so that if we do and ever get rain in Arizona, <laughs> we will have... Uh, will be all sealed up and won't have any leaks inside so um, and that goes for any coach whether it's two years old or whether it's 20 years old you just want to make sure every six months get up there and inspect that roof what do you think of all this huh what do you think you know come say hi oh that little hips hurting you huh yeah you and me bub Maybe we both have tendonitis, do you think? So hey guys, um, got it all done. I got all of the uh, lap sealant down. So I'm gonna go ahead and just give you a quick glimpse. Glimpse. Up. I did all the edges. Uh, did some touch up on around this uh, satellite dish. And then the other uh, bat, bat wing antenna. And then uh, just on all the seams on the Eterna Bond, I just uh, hit the edges and I did around the uh, bathroom skylight, did all that, sealed that, and all down the center here. And the back, got the back all sealed up. This basically all started where I was going to come up and actually wash my roof and do an inspection on the roof to make sure that uh, everything was sealed up okay. And, uh, you know, like I showed you earlier before I put the Eterna Bond down, um, I saw some edges that were frayed and decided to go ahead and put down the Eterna Bond and then uh, seal up those edges like we, like we did today. Um, but, you know, like I was saying in the video earlier, you just want to make sure and get up here every six months Give it a good glance, look it over, make sure everything's sealed up correctly. We don't have any cracking on the uh, uh, lap sealant and all that kind of stuff. That way, that way you're not fine, you're not uh, coming across any surprises uh, down the road where you're gonna have leaks in your roof and then uh, water damage and things like that. So um, I've actually had a couple friends saying you're putting all that Eterna Bond down. People are gonna think that you uh, you had a major leak or whatever. But I think it's pretty pretty easy to say that you know I'm uh, taking care of things before things like that happen so I'm sealing things up so I don't have any of those issues and that's pretty easy to explain so but uh, real happy that I did that once this is all set up I'll come back up here and uh, wash down the roof and make sure that everything's nice and clean and then see uh, if there's any places I miss I'll make sure and touch those up hey roamers make sure and check out some of our other renovation and maintenance videos and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you'll be notified each time we put out a new video.